Since graduating college, the only job I've ever had has been uh, a game designer. Um, I started out doing uh, paper role-playing games at Chaosium, which is where I met Ian. Um, I did do a couple board games there. No notably, I was involved in the creation of the Arkham Horror board game, the first version, which has since become popular under a new edition by Fantasy Flight. I went from there being penniless working for a painting company. I decided I, I, my family needed more, and I moved to Maryland to work for Microprose Software, at the time a rising star of the video gaming world. I was there throughout the rising star until its epic hubris-like collapse. I've run a bunch of games there. The most famous remaining one is Sid Meier's Civilization, where I was involved with that. I was like fourth or fifth on the team. There was a, other guys more important than me, but I was still there. And the, the Elvi, if you remember those from Civilization, those were my doing. Um, Sid Meier, they did something, what do you do if I have too many people and some are unemployed? And I said, make him be Elvis. So they did. And then uh, from there, I went to, came to Texas to work for uh, id Software just before they did Doom. And I was actually responsible for doing 20 out of the 27 levels there. So I was one of the very first level designers. Actually, at, at Microprose, I was one of the very first game designers to work on video games because they, they just developed that as a thing. Before then, game design, games on video games were done by the programmers or the artists. Programming so hard, design must be easy, right? So that was the idea. So then I go on to id Software. We invented the concept of level designer, which is now a standard job you can get in the industry, which we didn't even have the word level designer, but that's what I, I was doing that as well as other design, but I did level design. I worked on Doom, Doom 2, did most of the levels in Doom 2, uh, then on Quake, and then id Software didn't fall apart under the weight of its contradictions exactly, but it, id Software was always kind of schizophrenic and contradictory. I, I don't mean schizophrenic in the sense of being schizoid, I mean actually schizophrenic as in crazy in the head. So I left there and went to like one of the first, the first scene company I ever worked at, which was Ensemble Studios, where we did the Age of Empire series, and that place was very pleasant to work for. Um, I mean, it was stimulating to work for Microprose and for Chaosium, but they were madhouses. And the Ensemble was like, was everything was creative, everyone was working together at the same goal, everyone, it became what I wanted a company to be like. I worked there for 11 years and I would still be working there if Microsoft hadn't put a bullet in, the, in its head for uh, reasons that benefited and no one else. Uh, the good news about that was that uh, Microsoft bought Ensemble Studios and with that money I paid off my house and I got enough money for retirement so that when Wendy finally puts arsenic in my chicken noodle soup that she will have enough to live on, I was I was went off myself and taught game design at the graduate school level at uh, Southern Methodist University. And I was there for two years, and then I decided to go and fail at making iOS apps. So I did that. And then a bunch of my uh, uh, people I'd worked with partnered up with me and said, let's do a board game. We, I'd been out of work for a year, the failing iOS company wasn't doing any good. I actually had sect accepted a job to go to India and be their design guru for a year. Wendy was very excited to go. We we're gonna miss the grandkids, but they were gonna give us our own driver because they said, don't drive in India. Our own apartment, there was like a share of the company. It was a re really sweet deal. And so we were all excited to go. And I said, well, I'll put together this game Cthulhu Wars and it will maybe be a little cash cow or something I can use to support us while we're off in India and when we come back, we'll still have it. And then I expected it to make like $200,000, $300,000 tops, you know, maybe hopefully that. And then it was 1.4 million and, and I'd already accepted the job. And two days in, I called India and said, I, I can't come work for you. I gotta stay here and manage this Kickstarter and it's gonna, it's gonna be something big. And uh, they said, manager from India, but we didn't want to. So, so then I parlayed that into Peterson Games. And that was kind of long-winded, but now you know my entire history as a designer.